Hello there, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Hello there, Water Signs. Hello there, Triangle of Water. Welcome to the Crossroads. And welcome to your element reading uh, for this week that I have prepared so special for you. Uh, this reading is a general reading for Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces, Sun, Moon or Ascendant. Uh, and if you have strong water in your birth chart, perhaps you will resonate a little bit here, alright? For this reading, I'm going to use the Mystical Healing Reading Cards and the True Love Reading Cards. They are amazing oracles and I rarely use them on YouTube, but it's time to. I want to use a little bit more here in the channel. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. And to clarify, I'm going to use the Psychic Tarot from John Holland. Okay? So let's have a look. So Divine Triangle of Water. Divine Triangle of Water. Divine Triangle of Water. Divine Triangle of Water. These cards are huge. They are so big. <laughs> and my hand is so small. Divine Triangle of Water. Divine Triangle of Water, 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 Divine Triangle of Water. There we go. Let's see. Oh, wow. Okay. We have number 27, Reli relinquish control. Hmm. Relinquish control. Water science, what are you guys controlling? Silver waterfall. It talks about creating barriers. It talks about preventing to let things flow. Um, hindering the normal flow of events, the normal flow of life, if you will. The civil waterfall can talk about um, uh, a little bit of resistance and um, perhaps um, afraid or hesitant to interact with another person, to let the connection flow in a healthy way and it has everything to do with this relinquished control because it looks to me there are certain things here that perhaps you guys are hindering or preventing the normal flow of events the normal flow of life there could be a situation here where a relationship of some sort and by relationship it can be among family members, among friends, among co-workers, among your neighbors in your, na your local neighborhood, any type of uh, connection and relationship here. And I feel that somebody here, if this is not you doing that, somebody here could be doing that to you, trying to hold you back, try to hold back the normal flow of events, the normal flow of life. And oftentimes this barrier, this energy comes from um, fear, particularly fear, pettiness, you know, very petty energy sometimes, and, and also ego. Ego, normally ego creates these types of obstacles because the ego I just want uh, immediate gratification. The ego only sees itself in the mirror and nothing else exists beyond the ego. And the ego sometimes can be obsessive and blind because the ego believes the only way of satisfaction is the self-satisfaction. 
and the self gratification and it does not understand that life um, happens between you know between connections between people it's a give and take it's a flow that is flexible it is healthy it involves the both parties interacting together it's a, a, a give and take like I said and I feel here that perhaps somebody here are not giving enough and only taking okay for some of you that could be the case somebody is not giving enough only taking or even what is even worse because of ego they could be preventing the other person from flowing from growing from moving on there is a resistance here in this reading i don't know if this resistance come from your behalf or whoever you are dealing with it can go vice versa both ways but somebody is definitely holding back the normal flow of life the flow of growth the flow of expansion and moving ahead and the sole reason of this resistance of this holding back is purely based on fear self gratification and ego let's clarify somebody here could be holding back one person to interacting with another person as well it looks to me there is a third person here that is very jealous and is trying to hinder somebody's success somebody's natural flow towards uh, happiness high priestess two of high priestess two of swords and the chariot well definitely a lot of water here a lot okay first of all silver waterfall indeed there's a lot of water here because this is a waterfall and then we have the high priestess well the high priestess is so so water is she so much water because she is the deepest deepest intuition very psychic very spiritual energy and i feel he and cancer because this is the chariot and this reading is for water signs so cancer is present here definitely in this um triangle of water and we are heading towards cancer season okay so the sun will enter cancer on the 20 of june all right so in a few days in a couple of days so we are heading towards cancer season something taking place in cancer season something happening here and i'm picking up that um with the two of swords somebody here is absolutely holding back somebody here because of the ego they are in denial okay they are in denial their ego is what is holding back okay illusions and deception because i feel that somebody here is actively trying to stop somebody from moving on and the chariot is the clear indication of success anyways because it's a major arcana the chariot indicates absolute conquest absolute success absolute victory this is a very fearless energy the chariot fears nothing the chariot charges ahead towards its objectives towards its goals and fears no one so i feel that if somebody is trying to hinder the other person's progress growth and moving ahead it's a frustrating um and it is a, it's a frustrating thing because it won't stop whoever has to grow here who ha whoever has to grow whoever has to charge ahead whoever has to achieve their goals their objectives they will anyway 
regardless somebody's trying to stop them somebody's trying to cut their because see in this card relinquish, relinquish control she is holding a scissor here and there is a cord here we have a little bit of a wing this is an angel because the wing is here the little piece of wing is here to tell us that this is an angelic force angelic energy and there is a leg here that is held back by the cord and here at the bottom she's got she's holding the cord and the scissor she can cut this attachment anytime what is preventing this freedom and liberation is ego nothing but pure ego and I feel here you see she's got she's holding the cord the cord is attached to the his legs the other leg is free very here in the corner of this card where my finger is pointing there's the other leg the other leg is free this one is attached to the cord and she's holding back the cord with a scissor at hand she's about to cut and free and liberate but what is holding back is ego is this mental conflict mental conflict inability to see things clearly and you know deciding freeing liberating I feel here water signs that your intuition is key to show you the path ahead to show you what amazing path you have ahead of you at the moment your intuition might be telling you through your dreams pay attention full moon in Capricorn on the 24th of June your seventh house and then on the 9th of July you will have your new moon uh, the new moon in Cancer looks very important to me these two moons as the Sun is in Cancer pay attention because it's something taking place now and I feel that this battle this conflict because there is a conflict here absolutely absolutely and it's a mental one it's a mental mental conflict somebody is in urgent somebody needs urgently urgently to core to cut the attachment to cut the cords of holding somebody back because whatever we hold back it also holds us back it's not only one person holding the other person back and nothing happened to the one that is holding nobody is God to that point only God can do that without consequences no whatever we hold back from others we hold back from us as well if somebody is trying to prevent your happiness your growth for whatever means know that they are feeling that double it's it's helping it's, it's like um, hitting back backfiring double three times fold because whatever we hold also holds us back whatever we hold back it also holds us back and if we believe we are stopping somebody from growth believe me we are avoiding growth three times fold three times more we are you know uh, stopping our growth three times fold so I feel that somebody here needs to understand it somebody here is absolutely acting based on their ego and they are completely unable to see the mess they are causing in the other person's lives and in their own life it's a double effect because what goes around comes around for sure and I feel that regardless of this stupid mental mindset still somebody is going to be very successful regardless regardless because the chariot is here to guarantee that to assure that somebody here will grow they will move on regardless and the high priestess pay attention to your dreams particularly in this full moon in Capricorn 24th of June and new moon in Cancer 9th of July looks very important dates to me okay very important and I feel that somebody will get liberation somebody will be set free this Caesar 
we will end up cutting the cord because if this person, if this person who is holding back, if this person does not cut the cord, the universe, sure enough, will. Normally that's what happens. The universe, sure enough, will. Okay, Walter Science, thank you so much for being here with me. Beautiful reading. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do so. I wish you good luck, all the best, and up until then, I will see you again next week. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.